with my single file. They're gonna be filming me. Safety first. Alright, so today we're on our way. We got three GeoProbe jobs to do. Two of them are for fixed price remediations, and one of them is we're testing around an oil tank to see if it's contaminated or not. The people were hired by the buyers. They want to make sure that that oil tank is not leaking and that we can offer them the guarantee on that tank, which states we guarantee it doesn't leak. And if it does, we cover the burden. So we're on our way to the first one, which is a fixed price. Um, we'll take our samples around the excavation of where the oil tank was taken out, get a determination of how far and how deep that contamination went, and we'll be able to give them a price that doesn't fluctuate. Whatever we tell them the price is, is what they pay. It's not more, and that's it.
So right here is a sample from four foot to eight foot, right, right alongside of the oil tank. I scanned when I first got here, found out that the oil tank is right where the machine's sitting. We're taking a sample from the front end of the tank to see if it's contaminated. Once we do that, we'll go on each side of the tank, but we will not go in between the house and the tank because that's where the copper lines go through, and we don't want to cause any damage to that. So this soil right here came out of the tip, which is at eight feet below grade. We're gonna analyze that visually, inspect it, take an odor test to see if it smells like petroleum, open it up, see if there's any residue in there. Visual inspection, everything looks good. Odor test, I'm not getting any odor. We've taken some, some parts every foot or so, throwing it in the jar. We'll send that out to the lab to make sure that there's no leakage of this tank. Previously abandoned tank, there's no fill, there's no vent pipe, but it is detectable with a, with a tank sweep. They will find it, so you have to get them removed. I did three samples on this job, one on each side of the tank. The side in between the house and the tank we do not do because that's where the copper lines feed the house and we don't want to cause damage to those and create a leakage. So we had a successful day. We got all three tests done. We got the other crew doing a remediation. Everything's going smooth. The customers are happy. We gave one customer a fixed price number, which they are very satisfied with, which was lower than what they got quoted from another company. The soil test around the existing tank came back. Visual inspection looks clean. We're still gonna send the sample out to the lab to determine if there is petroleum in the soil or if there isn't, but my guess is that there is not. Let's head back to the shop, and uh, it, was a, it was a good day at Simple Tank.